ba -da -ba -ba -ba. People aren't loving it. Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. We're gonna talk about McDonald's and how they have finally admitted that people don't like, what? Plant-based meat? Let's just read the story. It says here, right here, Americans are rejecting a plant-based future full of disgusting and possibly even toxic fake burgers and sausages. Now, McDonald's has had all kinds of problems from paying people $20 an hour in California to people rejecting their food altogether because they can't simply afford it and they don't wanna pay $18 for a Big Mac meal. And that's not everywhere, but it is very interesting. When I started this channel, you know that I was drinking McDonald's coffee. Why? Because they used to say, if you got a buck, you're in luck. And I knew every time I bought a McDonald's coffee, I did enjoy the coffee itself, the quality. And compared to Starbucks, Pete's, uh, Dutch Brothers, all these different companies, I was saving like two bucks per cup. Well, today that is not the answer. It's still cheaper than all of those other competitors. But just recently I paid $2.49 for that same cup of coffee that I paid a dollar for when I started the channel exactly three years ago. To say that we have inflation way more than 3% is a joke. So McDonald's has been riddled with all kinds of problems. Now this story is out of Zero Hedge, and it's interesting because this whole fake meat craze is completely insane. And I have to be honest with you, I think that vegans are absolutely nutball. Let me give you a little story. I had a friend that had a wife, and she, she was a, she was nuts. I mean, she was crazy. And I only say that because she was crazy. And one day she had been a vegan for like 10 years and she was always angry. And her son, one of my kid's friends was eating a, an incredible juicy hamburger. And she just finally had enough. She goes, give me some of that. I need a bite. And this happened in front of her husband. She had a bite and something magical happened. Ex as the way he explains it, it was very magical. And she started eating meat again and her attitude turned around amazingly. Now check this out. It says here in the story, now we're talking about McDonald's. Folks simply want organic grass-fed beef. It says here, and quickly are, re are realizing quickly to stay as far away from possible from factory farmed vaccinated cows. The latest sign that the tide is shifting against billionaires like Bill Gates who advocate for a reset of the food supply or the food chain by ushering in sustainable insect burgers and plant-based meat also pushed to ban cow farts comes from McDonald's US President Joe Engler. At the uh, Wall Street Journal Global Food Forum in Chicago on Wednesday, Englinger blah, 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 admitted that the fast food chain's plant-based burgers test across San Francisco and Dallas markets ended in a major failure. Well, I gotta be honest with you, it's surprising because I thought everyone in San Francisco was crazy. Ha. See, I love beef. I love red meat. I like buffalo. I like cows. You know, give me a yak every once in a while, a good old yak burger, and I will crush it. Why? Because red meat is good for us. You know, the only thing that vegans have in common with anything is actually cows. All they do is eat grass and fart. And I'm starting to really think twice about this conspiracy. It's almost like it's a conspiracy because red meat seems to build testosterone, build good muscle, and just make happy people. And it seems like Type one down below, all the vegans I know are just bitter and angry. Maybe they just need a good old fashioned hamburger. All right. Well, here we've got McDonald's at the Four Seasons Hotel in Chicago. The president of McDonald's himself stated, uh, customers aren't looking for McPlant or other plant-based proteins from McDonald's. Beyond Meat, which partnered with McDonald's to sell fake patties, saw its shares drop as much as 5% after the comments hit the Bloomberg terminal. <laughs> you gotta love it. All those algorithmic traders going, oh crap, we're not Mick trading this. Uh, Put down your, I mean, this is not Mick fake news. This is Mick awesome. People need to wake up and start voting. They're out, they are, they're voting with their dollars. We're being lied to by the government about inflation. We're being lied to uh, by the Gates Foundation about the health, uh, healthful nature of beyond beef and insect based burgers. I mean, just look at that dude and you're like, okay, I don't want to follow anything that guy says. But it's just crazy. And I do believe it's a conspiracy to get people off of meat. It says here, um, the stock, uh, we're talking about Beyond Meat, trading near a record low on the dismal fake meat demand. And just weeks ago, new research was 
pu uh, published in Lancet from the University of Sao Paulo and Imperial College London that showed that ultra processed vegan food can increase the risk of heart disease and early death. Meanwhile, the USDA data shows that ground beef prices at supermarkets average $5.20 a pound. Prices are soaring in response to the nation's herd size and collapsing, that is collapsing a multi-decades low. Look, the fact of the matter is, red beef, red meat, good. Eating plants, well, if you want to be a human salad shooter, well then go right at, go for it. Hey, I hope you got something out of this. McDonald's is dealing with all kinds of issues, but the facts are, when you look at this company, the largest producers of hamburgers in the nation, if not the world, it's really interesting because you get to see the health, or actually, the sickness of the economy. I hope you got something out of this. The Economic Ninja is out.